Hello and welcome back to the channel. Unless this is your first time here, then welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here for some book talk. Is there any better talk than book talk? Not in my books. Okay, so today I am doing a library haul. Now I use the library system a lot. That's where most of my books come from. But normally what I do is I get on the overdrive system and I I use my iPad and I either get the audiobook or the ebook, but I felt book deprived, paper book deprived. So I went and got a stack. And I'm so excited um, because some of these I've been wanting to read for a long, long time and uh, the, they had it there at the library. Well, I'll just get right into it. I got, let's see, seven books. None of them, but well, one is kind of long, but I don't think it's going to take long at all to read these and they'll get back on their due date <laughs> or by their due date. The first one, um, I have heard wonderful things about this book. It is The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. It came out, it was published in 2005. Um, I love this <laughs> This picture of Joan Didion, um, that's kind of quintessential if you're into reading about authors, I'm sure you've seen that. But um, this book is about her dealing with the grief of the uh, death of her husband and also her daughter's illness. Um, the book starts off, life changes fast. Life changes in the instant. You sit down to dinner and life as you know it ends. If you know how her husband dies, that will mean a lot more to you. Um, this was a National Book Award winner. It was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize, and I'm really looking forward to reading this. And Henry's going to walk right in front of the camera. Thanks, Henry. <laughs> okay. The next one is another short little book, The Writing Life by Anne Dillard. This came out in 1989. Sorry, Henry just hit the camera, <laughs> it fell. Um, anyway, uh, the Boston Globe called this a kind of spiritual, strunk and white, a small and brilliant guidebook to the landscape of a writer's task. Now this book is not gonna be for everyone. I started it yesterday, it is totally for me. <laughs> you gotta really like um, poetic prose to read this. It is uh, very philosophical about her thoughts on writing and, um, I, I'm loving it. It's it's just a short little book and I am, let's see, at page 33. Um, I'll probably finish this uh, today after I finish work. The next book I got, okay, so I got this one because my friend Kristen, hi Kristen, if you're watching, which Kristen always watches because she's like the best, but um, it's Leanne Moriarty's Nine Perfect Strangers. Um, I have read several of Leanne Moriarty's books. Of course, I read Big Little Lies, but my favorite so far has been What Alice Forgot. This does not have the best reviews on Goodreads, but I don't care. Kristen's reading it and I want to join her, so I'm going to read that this month. <laughs> uh, let, oh, okay. So th the next book is City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. I wanted to read this before it came out and I was watching her in all the interviews. Um, this came out in 2019. Um, here is the description from the publisher. Um, a delicious novel of glamour, sex, and adventure about a young woman discovering that you don't have to be a good girl to be a good person. So this should be very saucy. It is um, our main character. She's 95 years old, but she is reminiscing um, back to the 1940s and her life in New York City. And um, this, this should be really fun to read. Okay. This one I already read and it wasn't for me. It's Tangerine by Christine Mangan. It came out in 2018. Um, I was just really attracted to the cover and the quote from Joyce Carol Oates on the front says, as if Donna Tartt, Gillian Flynn, and Patricia Highsmith had collaborated on a screenplay to be filmed by Hitchcock. I mean, doesn't that sound like perfect? But for me, it wasn't. Uh, the writing was okay, um, but this is a two-star book for me. It just, the the plot just seemed rather weak and and had holes in it. And I read the whole thing, so I mean, I made it through. It just, uh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Go on Goodreads, read some reviews if you've been thinking about Tangerine. This one I'm super excited about. I'll probably start it after I finish um, Annie Dillard's book, Peace Like a River. This came out in 2001. Here's the description from Goodreads. 
It is at once a tragedy, a romance, an unflagging exploration into the spirituality and magic possible in the everyday world and in that of the world awaiting us on the other side. And again, I've heard nothing but good things about this book, so that should be really good. And then the last one I got, I actually have already read, but the reason I got it, it's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I read this when it came out. And it came out in 2011. So I would have read, read this late 2011 or early 2012. And I really liked it. And she, Erin Morgenstern, just released her second novel a few months ago, The Starless Sea. So that's what I was looking for, but it was checked out. And I thought, okay, this was almost 10 years ago I read it. And I remember really liking it. It was before I rated books on Goodreads. But from memory, I think I would have probably given this a four star. So I was kind of w wondering, like, com I, I, I thought, well, if I have time to read this after the other ones, or if I'm in the mood to read this, um, you know, betwixt the other ones, um, like, what my tastes are like, you know, from eight years ago on a book that's not a classic. And um, so I would really like to, to tackle this this month, um, just to kind of compare and contrast, see if I would still rate it so highly. And and I still want to get her Starless Sea book. It, it has mixed reviews. I don't care. I still want to read it. Um, and I'll be on the lookout at the library for that. So that is my library haul. Doesn't it just feel like, ugh, like everything's right in the world when you just have a stack of books like this? But anyway, I'll keep you guys posted on all these books and, and what I thought of them and how they turned out. But if you have read any of these, or if you've done your own library haul lately, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. I want to hear people's opinions. And um, if this is your kind of video, please give it a like. I would love it if you subscribe. That would be so awesome. And I will see you next week with more bookish banter. Bye.